I really love the bad boys. Ooh, this never happened to Shakespeare. <laughs> It's me, esteemed yet bankrupt romance novelist Crystal Rasmussen. And me, Mariah Carey's muse, Candy Warhol. And today we're answering your questions about love. Ooh. Please welcome my arch nemesis, Cosmina Popa. Thank you so much Hello, for darling. having me. Hello. So we hear you've got a question about love and dating. So I kind of have like a boy dilemma. I really love the bad boys that treat me kind of badly. Even though I would love to like boys that treat me like a princess. Okay. Mm. You can definitely help Cosmina. Okay, look, you must have had some good experiences with good boys, right? Tell us about them. At the beginning, they're cute, they're nice. But then they start saying, you look beautiful. Why don't you yeah. like being told you're beautiful? There we go. Because I feel like that's a cliche thing that all guys say. It's actually not what a lot of guys say. A lot of girls would kill for a guy to say that to them. A lot know? of guys say to me, you know, back off, you know, stop following me. Mm. We do all deserve to be treated well, except Candy. You can totally get a good guy and like train him to do the little bad stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to do a bit of role play. Can we get Gabe in? Gabe? Yeah, come on, Gabe. Gabe, come in here. <laughs> right, yeah. He's a nice boy. Gabe smells like puppies and marshmallows and love letters. Now let's turn Gabe into a bad boy. Lovely. What's your favorite pastime, Gabe, bad boy Gabe? Uh, I like to cross the road when it's red. Mm. What do you like to eat, Gabe? I like to eat dessert first. Hmm. So do you see what we're saying? You get your hands on one of these gorgeous good boys that is really into you. And then once you're committed, you start introducing these little things. Question is, would you do these type of things for a girl if you liked her? For you. Oh. <gasps> oh, hand me a piece of Gabe. So how do you feel now? After you're doing that bit of role play, so how do you feel? I actually feel like you helped me a lot. Oh my god. Thank you so very much. Thank you so, so much. much. You're beautiful and you deserve better than some dick that's not gonna text you back. Thank you, likewise. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Another, Another case, case closed. <laughs> We're gonna answer your questions about love. Marcus from Faversham says, how do you know when you're in love? A severe burning sensation when you pee. Since I married my wife, I've thought about her more as a friend. What can I do to get the butterflies back in my stomach again? Says Steve from Cardiff. Simple, eat a caterpillar. It's all candy eats. Claudia from Eccle says, I don't think I'll ever love someone as much as I love my pet salamander, Arthur. Should I just give up on men? Mm-hmm, fuck men. Who makes you more happy, your salamander or a man? Mm. You, know? you know? Who's exactly. there for you when you come home? Your salamander. Your salamander. Who showers with you in the morning? Your salamander. Who wears her white shirt, your oversized white shirt in the morning. It's real sexy, you know, it's hanging off his shoulder. He's like, good morning, you want some coffee? Thanks for letting me sleep over. Your salamander. Your salamander. It's your salamander for the win, yeah. I say. We'd like to welcome Tim Renko. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. OK, so Tim, we heard that you have a romantic request. I would like to be more romantic for my girlfriend. Someone call the love ambulance. This is an emergency. What do you think is a little tiny romantic gesture to do for her? The problem is all the all the nice ones you think of, like cooking dinner. Mm -hmm. It's something if I did, I would probably burn the house down. Right. I mean, there's always a takeaway. You could do what I do and lie and say that I made the food. Oh, I've never thought of lying to her. <laughs> Another case closed. <laughs> mm, I love me some love. I think to be really romantic, you need to look really romantic. Okay, so Tim, now that you look like a real Romeo, do you feel more romantic? I feel like a hipster's wet dream. Shakespeare in love. Oh no, my cops. This never happened to Shakespeare. I think we need to come up with something else. Okay, Tim, it doesn't always have to be these grand gestures. Sometimes romance is about being like, you know what, I might want to watch this, but you want to watch that, we're going to watch yeah. that. You know, prioritizing her above you, that is so romantic sometimes. What's the smallest thing I can do? You can say hello. Mm. Usually I just say hi. <laughs> so what have we learned about love today, Crystal? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Love is a shooting star in the night sky. Wake up, bitch. It's just about marrying a really rich guy. Love is a barefoot walk on the beach. Uh, no, it's like that scene in Call Me By Your Name. You know the one with the... 
page. Love is sharing rides on the Ferris wheel. Oh, for fuck's sake, listen. Love is like when a guy pays for your meals. Serenading me with a Glock and Steel. Surprise, bitch. He's cheating on you. Are you struggling? Have you lost your way? Where the dragon is going to save the day. Who goes tandem on a bike with you in Amsterdam, but then you crash and it's a really hilarious story? You're a salamander.